at Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, June 12, 2023, why Carousdale is betting against Carvana? Carousdale believes Carvana stock is worthless while its equity is a zero. Carousdale Capital believes Carvana stock should trade lower due to a high debt burden, competition and participation in a low-margin industry. The hedge fund also takes issue with Carvana's pre-announcement of a better-than-expected second-quarter EBITDA figure. Carvana stock is up more than 300% year-to-date. Carvana, NYSE, CVNA, stock is resiliently in the green today, despite the publication of a short report by Carousdale Capital. As usual, the hedge fund has disclosed a short position in the underlying stock of its report. While many have shared concerns over Carvana's business before, we voice ours at a time when shares have risen 165% in only a month on misguided optimism for profits that amount to little more than buffing the paint job on a totaled car, said Carousdale. The short seller starts off the report by mentioning that Carvana has $6.5 billion in total debt while simultaneously burning billions of dollars of investor capital in order to sustain sales growth. The used car seller is unprofitable and even was during the pandemic, when the prices of used cars soared and interest rates remained low. Carousdale publishes short report on Carvana stock. Carousdale notes that Carvana is ultimately a used car seller, despite its technological improvements over other used car sellers. That means that Carvana must compete in a crowded market with lows margins and a high need for capital. Furthermore, the short seller believes Carvana made a major mistake last May after issuing billions of dollars of high-yield debt amid declining industry conditions. Carousdale points out that industry conditions have not improved since then. The short seller notes, Carvana's aggressive cost cuts may succeed in slowing the rate of cash burn, but with over $700 million in annual interest expense and capex, it simply cannot generate enough profit to stop the negative cash flow. By the fourth quarter, Carousdale estimates that Carvana will have to pay over $250 million in quarterly interest expense, which is also a period prone to seasonality. Meanwhile, the hedge fund also takes issue with the company's pre-announced EBITDA figure for the second quarter, which was better than expected. Carousdale believes that the pre-announcement was misleading because the figure is due to significant one-time loan sales. The firm says the pre-announcement reeks of pumping shares ahead of a potential equity offering. In conclusion, Carousdale characterizes Carvana stock as worthless while comparisons to other technology platforms and e-commerce platforms are nonsensical. We view the equity as a zero in investing at current levels, is a worse deal than buying a clunker from a slick used car salesman. Thanks for watching. Numerian Capital News. Please come back tomorrow for another stock news update. Thank you.